Where, well, I know exactly where I'm starting that match reaction. Jesus Christ, Cristiano Ronaldo, you are a freak. A freak. A ridiculous volley goal there to give Manchester United, I would say, an, un an undeserved, really, draw against Atalanta after what was an abysmal last 45 minutes. But Ronaldo, the two Ronnies in the first and the second half, my God, the guy is a joke. He's missed the Champions League truly tonight. And I don't say this with any joy whatsoever. He's truly saved Solskjaer's job. And I say that not with any joy because I'm not enjoying it, saying shit like that. But it's true. That second 45 minutes, we saw the same patterns. We saw Manchester United go out in that first half. We struggled. We got Varane injured. We switched to a 4-2-3-1. De Gea, ah, such a massive mistake for that goal after he's been so good this season. We switched to the 4-2-3-1 after Varane came off. And we got a measure of control. An unreal goal equaliser from Manchester United. Selfless pass from Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo with the finish. One all at half time. Come out in that second half, United. Come on. Do it. Go against Atalanta. Did we fuck? We were trash. The spacing behind for Zapata. Zapata, sorry. For that goal that they scored. Abysmal. Harry Maguire. I thought McFred was going to be the hill that Solskjaer died on. Jesus, he's been crap for three, four weeks. 2-1. United getting beaten. United getting... Just pulled apart. No real cohesion. Nothing really going on. Ah, you know what? Throw Sancho and Van der Beek on. Proper Hail Mary throw from Solskjaer. 80 yards going for the touchdown. And then Cristiano Ronaldo comes up with that goal. And that finish there. For what? That was unreal, man. Unreal. At the most critical moments with the most clinical of finishes. Cristiano Ronaldo keeps proving people wrong. Late winner against Villarreal. Late winner against Atalanta. Late equaliser against Atalanta. Wait, he legitimately is Mr. Champions League. I don't want to hear anybody say anything else. I don't give a shit. If you can give me the best pressing fall in the world, you can keep him. I don't care what Ronaldo does off the ball. I care about what Ronaldo does on the ball. And tonight he came up with the goods. But tonight, it's a bittersweet moment for me, that one. I, lo I loved it. I love that <laughs> late. You can't not like late goals that change games for United's favour. But I needed to see Manchester United build on the momentum that we saw against Spurs because there was momentum. We looked like a cohesive team, a unit. We may have, you know, we sat in, in shape. We played well out in and out of possession. We looked like a team. Everybody knew what they were doing. Spurs were shit, but we took advantage of it. Clinical goals. Great. 3-0. Take it into this game. We got momentum going forward. Solskjaer... Uh, supposedly is on a stay of execution and he was a minute or two away there from being executed. Ronaldo coming up with that goal means we're top of the group still, I believe, unless Villarreal have now got us on goal difference, but it changes everything. We now go to Villarreal knowing that a win there and we're through the Champions League. Had we lost there tonight, we could have been out in Spain if we lost to Villarreal. But as I said, I needed these games here to continue momentum for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, to build on that 3-0, to show, okay, that we've turned a leaf and I was get up there. I felt the siege mentality in the pre-match build-up. If you joined in in the legacy arms, I was like, oh, I can feel the momentum going into this game. But pfft, the momentum went out the window. Atalanta, to be fair to the crowd at Atalanta, it felt like a proper European night. Intense atmosphere, closed atmosphere, very intense pressing from them. Atalanta played well. They were always going to play better and clearly they were more structured to, to suit that formation better than I, better than United because they played it more than us. It's their standard formation. I expected room in behind for Marcus Rashford and for Paul Pogba to get balls in, but they played with quite a deep back line. Paul Pogba, mate, United fans deserve the response from you after what you did against Liverpool. Come on in that second half, just get a red within 10 minutes. Massive ill discipline from him in that game. And tonight, he got pressed out of the game, yes, but Atalanta used that to their advantage. Saw an opportunity and they knew that if they pressed Pogba, he couldn't do much in it. I don't get how bad Pogba is in, he's under the press. He, he can't do it. I don't get it. And then in the second half, Gasparini switched it, put a man on Bruno Fernandes, and he got marked out of the game in that second half. Tactical move that was good from Gasparini and Atalanta. But that game there tonight, as I said, it needed to be something that built on that Spurs game. Instead, it's a game where we're talking about Cristiano Ronaldo coming up clutch again and saving Solskjaer's job. Because had that goal not gone in, it would have been game, set and match, dead and buried. Stay of execution, executed. It would have been done. Finito. Instead, the narrative goes on, but the patterns still exist. And that's what I didn't want to see. 
That's why this had to be different. That's why these games had to be different, all right? Because Manchester United, we've had so many of these all season long, the same patterns, playing slow, playing disjointed. You've got Greenwood cutting inside, no real width. What the fuck are we doing spending two years chasing Jaden Sancho to leave him in the goddamn shadows? What has he done? Has he offended Solskjaer? Has he kicked his dog? What has Sancho done to deserve this sort of treatment? It is ridiculous. It's virgin on madness. We spent two years getting him, so much effort by the club, and we're not even playing him. What is the goddamn point in having Jaden Sancho in this squad if you're not going to use him? We needed width there in that second half towards the end. Instead, we had Greenwood cutting inside, and we had Cavani cutting inside. Striker, striker. Ronaldo, striker. We had no width. Oh, lo and behold. But Ronaldo came up clutch. Ronaldo came up there with the moment of magic. He didn't. He had no right to do that. No right whatsoever. An unbelievable finish. The first goal was great. Team goal, completely. Bruno passing it. Greenwood, very good from him not to shoot there. Passing it to Bruno, who hasn't scored in like 10 games. A little back heel, filthy. Straight on Pornhub for that one. Oh, disgusting. That second goal, though, from Ronaldo. The confidence to take it on. The ability to actually find the bottom corner. Top tier, not even top tier, god tier, goat tier. Try and tell me there's a better goal scorer in modern football. Try and compare that to any goal scorer in the history of football. Cristiano Ronaldo is the greatest of all time. He's continuing to prove it whilst Lionel Messi is fading into the shadows at PSG. Ronaldo is stepping up here, stepping up for his manager and stepping up for Manchester United, keeping us in contention at the top of the table in the group in the Champions League. And we needed it and Solskjaer needed it. But that's not what I wanted to see. It's not, man. I didn't want to, I didn't want my match reaction to come there and be sort of disjointed as disjointed as the football. The happiness and the, and the adulation I've got for the goals that Ronaldo scored in that game for the first goal and the teamwork and the individual Eric Bai, by the way, fantastic. Makes that decision to start Maguire when he was 20% fit against Leicester even more baffling from Solskjaer. But I needed this game to build on Spurs to show, okay. Look, we've turned the corner. We saw what we did well against Spurs. We're continuing into this game. Solskjaer, madness to start Varane tonight. I didn't put him in my starting 11 for that exact reason. Starting two games within four days, having spent a few weeks out injured. Pup decision. Pup, puppity pup. That's what I would call that. And now he's probably going to miss a City game. And then sod knows what's going to happen against City. Ugh. I fear for that game. But tonight, you've just got to admire watching an artist at work you just got to admire watching cristiano ronaldo do what cristiano ronaldo does and i swear to god he is he's turned into superman these last few weeks he really has he is dragging that team forward and upwards and out of the mud and keeping our heads above water we're struggling right now the lift is filling with water Solskjaer's clamoring for space clamoring for air and so ronaldo keeps pulling his head up just keeps pulling him out of the water that can only go so far all right I said after the Liverpool game that Solskjaer should be sacked. I completely stood by that and I completely stand by that. The club right now are giving him these three games to save his job. Spurs, we did it against a team which was, well, they sat their manager after that game. That's how good Spurs were doing. And now against Atalanta in a game where Solskjaer needed to show it, United did not show it in that second half. Really poor from United as a team, really disjointed from United as a team and the same patterns and the same problems came. And it would have been the same result if not for a moment of pure, unadulterated magic from the right foot of Cristiano Ronaldo to save United at the end, just like he saved us against Villarreal and just like he saved us against Atalanta at home. That can only go so far, all right? As I said, it's just keeping our heads above water, that sort of result. I I'm not coming here with a massive en negative energy, man. I was going into that game so positive, so positive. I f for the first time in a while, I went into a game I was like, United have actually got a bit of momentum in their sales. Woo! No, we're not. No, well, we did. Now we don't. And now we're heading the other direction again. And we're walking into a goddamn tornado. A Pep Guardiola ball tornado on Saturday at half past 12. What comes against City if you're going to be that disorganised against that team there? And Varane's going to be out. Varane was the big reason why we were so organised against Spurs. And he might be missing now. Harry Maguire, hang your head in shame, man. she has been so bad for the last three, four weeks. I've got to call him out on it. Seriously. What are you doing? Madness. What's your reaction to that game? Football, eh? Seriously. United, you've, you're dragging me. You're through the mud here. You can't, I'm trying to keep my head above water. You're not helping me whatsoever. 
That goal to Nottingham got not gone in by Ronaldo. Solskjaer, I don't know. Well, he wouldn't have been gone before the City game, but it would have basically signed everything. Uh, I still think it should be signed. I think United should be moving on, but I don't know what United are doing. I don't know what United are doing behind the scenes. I don't know what United are doing on the pitch. I don't know, I don't know anything about this club anymore, but I do know one thing. Cristiano Ronaldo quite literally is the greatest of all time, and we are privileged to have watched him not once, but twice in the United shirt, and we've seen him do it at 36, and he's not slowing down. Unreal. What's your thoughts on that match? Let me, look, let me know in the comments as always and subscribe if you're new. But Cristiano Ronaldo, you freak.